peace love and light scorpios i hope the sun is shining wherever you are and you're living your greatest purpose let's get into your messages scorpios i'm hearing something about how there are some people that literally pay for powers that they weren't born with you know abilities like you've ever seen you know these uh superhero movies where the villain is always hating on the superhero because you know they're seeking to dominate the world they're seeking to be the most powerful and so they figure in order for them to do that they got to take out the one that's powerful and really the divine is saying the reason why they're trying to take out the superhero is because they have something that they're naturally born with and these villains they 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 pay for what they for these powers that they're trying to get while the superhero um was born with it the divine is saying that there are certain things abilities natural abilities that you have that makes you a force to be reckoned with and there are people at this time that are really hating on that they're trying to figure out how where how much and yet for you it comes so naturally okay it comes naturally <laughs> because your ability comes from the divine the star showing up the star showing up yep the stars in the cosmos there's something that you have within that they they are literally willing to die for to get them they they're trying to pay for these gifts these abilities that you naturally possess and these folks that feel like they have to well they pay for them and they're hating on the fact that you get them for free you're just naturally talented you're naturally gifted this is your gift the star card okay some people <sighs> some people hmm. and you see your connection to the divine okay that string that that's a, that's got you attached to what's what's so bright cosmic that is your abilities okay that's your abilities and these folks are just like straight up haters they hate on your gifts they hate on your abilities here you are in the spotlight my goodness all the cosmos are showing up for you um bright and early look at that All the cosmos are showing up for you, Brian, early, Scorpios. Look at this. The star card, ace of cups, six of wands, three of cups. Like, this is the cosmos, the, the connection that you have that gives you the abilities that you possess. And here you are being recognized for them being seen for them shining for them celebrating them those abilities and gifts that you have <clears throat> you didn't have to pay for them oh oh but they did at least they trying to or they have <laughs> I don't know why this song is showing up. I, I called the witch doctor and this is what he said. Something like that. Oh my goodness. I don't know where that came from. That was like 
a really, really old, old, hmm, old, old soul. <clears throat> mm. They're obsessing with them. They're obsessed with your abilities. They're obsessed with your abilities. They want to grab them. They want to take them. They want to take what's not theirs. They, they're actually willing to become a puppet to something because of their obsession. These are folks that are literally like, they're willing to sell their soul and may perhaps they even have. Their obsession has led them to the, you know, to the depth. All right. They're trying to figure out how is it that you were just given this. You didn't have to work for it. Five, 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 an energy of change. <clears throat> mm -hmm. They fallen. They fallen. They're going to be falling. All right. They're going to be falling. And I'm seeing that for as long as they have existed or they have been able to exist for so long is because like they have they've either borrowed or paid for whatever abilities whatever power they had <clears throat> they took them they harnessed them they they were harnessing energies for quite some time they were harnessing energies for quite some time scorpios and the divine is saying that it they're they're slowly slowly dripping draining falling falling they're slowly dripping draining falling the divine knew that there would be a time such as this where you would rightfully you would be ready for some of you you know as they harness those energies in the past That caused a lot of ripple effects on your third eye. Okay. It kept you from seeing. It kept you from seeing. <clears throat> and boy, did they have an obsession. They had an obsession with, with the chosen ones. They had an obsession with the ones that were naturally gifted. Because they had some kind of power that they couldn't understand. They had a power that for whatever reason, whatever they tried, however, you know, amount of money they paid to get those abilities, to see what you were able to see, the way you saw them. Your gift of sight, it was unmatched. Regardless of how much money they paid to become a seer, they could never see the way you did. <clears throat> because your gift was given, it, you were born with it, you didn't pay for it. They're, they were your own. Their ability to see, it was never theirs. They harnessed it. They took it. They stole it. Okay. They stole it. And this, the divine is saying that this represents your gifts. What your gifts gave you the ability to do. It gave you power and authority over all low vibrationals. And this is part of the reason why they were hating. This is part of the reason why they were hating. Is because no matter how much money they paid for theirs, they could never have power and authority over you. They were never able 
and given the authority to have power and authority over you. And this is what plagued them. This is what made them, this, will, this is what put them in the energy of hating. This is what made them delusional. It frustrated them to think that no matter how much money they paid, they could never, ever have the abilities that you had. They could never have the star power that you did. And so it's like, it's like that hating, you know, sibling that tried to steal your birthright because they like, wait, we born in the same, we came, we came from the same Mm -mm -mm. and yet you're like this and I'm like this like why you get to get all that and so they resorted to backstabbing this this is a backstabbing sibling right here you have one many of you this person may actually be a fire sign <clears throat> this person may actually be a fire sign just hating just all types of you know stuff saying things you know they couldn't understand why it is that you were just given these things you could just see these things you had a way with words you were able to speak life You were able, you still are able to, you have this gift of being able to bring things to life with just your words. You have this way of being able to put these evildoers in their place, defeat them with just your words. Scorpios, the divine is saying, the divine is saying your words are powerful. Your light is powerful. Your gifts and abilities are powerful. There are those out there that are willing to die for them. There are those out there that are hating on them. They wondered why it is that you were given these gifts. And they, regardless of how much money they paid, they could never attain it. Why she got to be in the light? Why she got to be the one in the light? <clears throat> the one that has to get all these things. Why was she the one that was born with all these talents? These gifts? These abilities? They see you and they've been studying. They've been studying. Hmm. They see you shining at this time. For many of you, your shine doesn't look like theirs. Your shine looks like freedom, liberation. You're doing things a way that is very much different than the status quo. It's a lot of exciting things ahead. There's a lot of things, a lot of manifestations abundance that's showing up for you your gifts are making way for you these folks they've never mm, they're powerless the divine is saying your gifts make you powerful yep the divine is saying that your gifts make you powerful and the fact that they don't have it, they feel powerless. Actually, they know they're powerless. They know they're powerless. They know that it takes them 10 times the energy to do what you do. Because it's not natural to them. Because a lot of their powers and abilities, they, they bought them. They paid for them. For many of you, you get to know that they paid for them with blood sacrifices. Okay? 
they harness energies to get these gifts these they're not gifts they weren't given to you you stole them okay you stole them it, it wasn't given to you and so here they are you know taking up someone's life force all right taking up their life force transferring energies they were transferring energies they were doing blood sacrifices in order for them to have the life of those that had these gifts in order for them to have the abilities of those that had these gifts they had to sacrifice them and so they took on their energy these are not folks that are like far too distant from you these are folks that some of you may actually be related to in fact some of these karmics are your own family mother figures that were willing to sacrifice their own family is all over this I'm hearing something about them them being hospitalized at this time. Some of them, you know, all them sacrifices were coming back to haunt them. They're paying them back. You took a life. You didn't think you had to pay it back. You took what wasn't yours. You, you didn't think you had to pay it back. Many of them are going through a lot of mental turmoil at this time they're going through mental turmoil at this time and I'm seeing that what plagues them is that even the sacrifices that they did taking the life of their own family can't bring them the power and the happiness that they desired because eventually what you took you're gonna have to pay back that's the law of reciprocity yep that's the law of reciprocity you what you what you took the life that they took the lives that they sacrifice they're paying them back okay that wasn't a good way to do business. You know you don't do business like that. What you just take and give nothing back. Some way, somehow the divine is going to figure out a way to take from you to even the scale. Okay. Some of you are high priests and high priestesses of Oshun. I'm speaking to you. You may or may not have gone through formal initiation. Okay, the divine has a lot more gifts in store for you. And some of you, you have endured a lot of hardship in areas of relationship because of who you were meant to be, because of the gifts that you have, because of your heart chakra, because you're deeply connected to... <laughs> the mother a life for a life whatever it is that this mother figure did to you whatever it is this karmic mother figure did to you okay the divine is bringing chaos destruction confusion blinding her and for some of you get to know that they don't get to see the next cycle as you're transforming. Like these folks just, you know, they doing what they do. Okay? You're moving forward. And you get to move forward knowing that your abilities gave you a certain kind of willpower. Alright? A certain kind of willpower and strength. 
to keep moving forward, to focus on your goal, to focus on your task at hand here. Keep moving forward. The divine says keep moving forward because you are supported and forever will be supported. And it's time for you to celebrate your gifts, celebrate your abilities. And forgive yourself for any and everything that you may have encountered knowing that you didn't imagine them. They happened. They existed. Like some of these things that happened to you, you probably thought, oh my goodness, did I imagine this? Was this a figment of my imagination? Because these atrocities were, it seemed so unreal, like... It was challenging for your heart to connect to the reality of this. And for many of you, this is how it's been able to happen over and over again. Because you could never imagine that someone could do such a thing because your heart is pure. And so it was almost unbelievable for you to imagine that anyone could do such a thing. And they did. And once you figured out. The atrocities were real that folks actually work with that kind of energy. You said, I'm out. I'm blocking this. This is this is not going to I'm not gonna allow this to go further. You did this so you can balance the scale, so you can, you know, trust yourself again, balance yourself out again, give yourself options again give yourself the choice to be in alignment again and be in connection to the divine and now that you have done this the divine is saying you're holding on to everything that you've got you're holding on to every and every gift every ability that you've been given and you are not going down without a fight and you're not going down period and that's the word of the divine Mm. Okay, I'm seeing the divine said to read this one. Seven. Very significant number seven. All right, so 43, 4, 3 equals seven. Um, the divine is saying to stay the course. Okay, you are a light bearer. Your sole purpose is to redress the presence of darkness on this planet through shining the light. You are meant to do this in the ways that feel most uplifting to you. What brings brightness to your spirit? Do those things. How can you create a loving legacy to remind others of the light? Exploring and expressing the light in ways that remind others to seek light is also a way to fulfill your divine destiny. Your light is powerful. Use it. People around you, perhaps even you, can sometimes get caught up in the troubles of the world and forget to focus on the light and their own creative power. Gently but precisely remind yourself and others to ask for divine help. This can be done according to each individual's belief system. Prayers will be answered. Focus on the light at specific moments during each day. Place sacred objects in your line of vision so you can see them and remember the light often. You're a light worker, light bearer, one who is divinely designed to receive and transmit light for the benefit of humankind and Mother Earth. You have more influence in situations to bring about divine conclusions than you may realize. Don't be afraid to use your light and always possible. So this is confirming what was said. You were born with these gifts. And many of you, like these gifts showed up in the beginning. They showed up as light energy. Okay. Whatever brings light to the planet. Okay. Whatever takes the chosen ones out of the shadows whatever it is that the divine has given you is your gift that which is meant to take you out of the shadows as well as others that's your gift 
and you get to know that you were born with these gifts and there are some that pay for them they pay dearly and they still don't have that strength and ability so at this time the divine is reminding you of those gifts and abilities because you know what's happening may sometimes make you forget they're trying to make you forget how powerful you are they're trying to make you forget that you have gifts that you can use at any time okay remember your gifts make you powerful use them that's the word of the divine if this message resonates please like comment share and subscribe until next time love peace divine light